Throughout human history, influential groups have used their power to hide secrets from the rest of us. From treasures hidden away in ancient tombs to documents kept under lock and key in bomb-proof vaults, let's blast open some intriguing mysteries that are locked away. Amazing. Number 10. Ark of the Covenant According to the Christian Bible, when Moses returned from Mount Sinai with the Ten Commandments, he placed them in a huge golden chest. But whether you're a Christian or just an Indiana Jones fan, you might know this chest by its famous name, the Ark of the Covenant. Legend has it the Ark spent centuries bouncing around the Middle East until it was lost in the Siege of Jerusalem in 586 BCE. For many, this is where the trail goes cold, though some believe the Ark headed south to Africa. For over a thousand years, religious groups and archaeologists have searched the globe for the missing relic. The clerics of the Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion in Ethiopia, however, believe the hunt is already over and claim to have the Ark locked in their treasury. The only person allowed to access the Ark is a single monk assigned the role of the Guardian. This lineage of custodians dates back to the Ark's supposed arrival 3,000 years ago. Could these men be part of a brotherhood that has protected one of the world's most significant relics for millennia? Occasionally, detractors have claimed the church's ark is empty, but nobody officially knows for certain. If Indiana Jones is anything to go by, maybe it's best we don't open it to find out. Number 9. Skulls and Bones With immense resources and ties to powerful families, elite universities are a hotbed for skullduggery amongst the upper echelons of society. But in the case of Yale's most infamous secret society, this couldn't be more literal. The Skull and Bone Society is an extremely exclusive group dating back to the 1830s. They've had three former presidents amongst their alumni alongside countless celebrities and politicians. The Bushes, including George W. and his old man, were also prominent members. However, the Bush with the most significant involvement was the 43rd president's grandfather, Prescott Bush. Back in 1918, Prescott Bush and a number of his fellow bonesmen allegedly snuck into a graveyard and exhumed the skeleton of the famous Native American Apache chief, Geronimo. They brought his skull to their headquarters, earning the building its current name, the tomb. Considering Prescott's son and grandson both became presidents, it seems he managed to avoid the standard curse that comes with disturbing a Native American burial ground. All society members swear an oath to secrecy about what goes on within the walls of their HQ, so no one has ever publicly confirmed where the sinister trophy is kept, or for that matter if it's even there at all. Geronimo's descendants filed a lawsuit against the society to claim it back years later, but a federal judge dismissed their case. He concluded that even if the society did possess the skull, as the remains were so old, the family didn't have the right to them anyway. Was this dismissal just another powerful figure protecting a disturbing secret? Let me know what you think in the comments. Number 8. Khan's Resting Place Genghis Khan was one of the most feared rulers in human history. At his peak, his Mongol Empire controlled twice as much land as the Roman Empire. So what does the grand tomb of such a legendary figure look like? Well, historians are still scratching their heads, and that's exactly how Khan wanted it. When the great Khan asked for his burial site to be a secret, he wasn't kidding. According to the legend, 30,000 aided in constructing his tomb, and when they finished the job, they were executed. After the site was buried, a thousand horses trampled the ground, hiding any trace of the tomb's existence. Anyone the Khan's funeral possession encountered along the way was also massacred to prevent anyone ever finding out the route. They even supposedly diverted a river to cover the whereabouts of his grave. Talk about overkill. Many assume that river to be the Onan River that runs through Russia and Mongolia. But seeing as it's 500 miles long, it's unsurprising no one's found the Great Khan's resting place yet. But the person who does will become almost as much a part of history as Genghis himself. Number 7. Classified King During Martin Luther King Jr.'s fight for civil rights in America, he was attacked from all sides. But who pursued him most relentlessly? the FBI. The Bureau's director at the time, J. Edgar Hoover, saw Martin Luther King as one of the greatest threats to American society at the time. Hoover's personal hatred of the civil rights leader led him to resort to some particularly shady practices to bring him down. 
In one instance in 1964, the FBI sent an anonymous letter to Dr. King, accusing him of being adulterous and abhorrently evil, and encouraging him to commit suicide. But despite the threatening tone of this and similar instances, King continued his fight. So Hoover placed him under near constant surveillance, bugging his house, hotel rooms, and car. While this project's existence has since been confirmed, no one outside of the Bureau has seen the files the FBI gathered on King. What's more, they aren't expected to be declassified until 2027. Many theories are in circulation regarding the records. Some believe Hoover's claims that King led a debauched private life, while others state the FBI tried relentlessly to entrap him and manipulate dubious evidence. But until the FBI releases the recordings, no one will know for sure. Number six, Indian hidden treasure. A series of man-made caves in northern India have long been associated with the legend of a hidden treasure. The cave's collective name, San Bandar, translates to store of gold in the local dialect and has drawn many visitors in search of riches. Experts estimate the caves may date back as far as 300 CE and carvings inside strongly hint at the presence of vast amounts of treasure hidden somewhere within. But the greatest mystery of San Bandar is a faded message carved in the second chamber. Written in an obscure, seemingly lost language, no one has been able to translate it despite centuries-long efforts. Locals theorize that the carving is a form of password or instruction, and if translated, may reveal the way to access the treasure within. During imperial rule, British soldiers attempted to solve the mystery by force, and the walls still bear the mark of their cannon blast. But their efforts revealed nothing, and for now, the treasure, if it exists, remains locked away. Number five, terrible books. When the Byzantine princess Sophia Palaiologina married Russian Grand Prince Ivan the Great in 1472, she brought with her a huge dowry. But it wasn't gold, diamonds, or pearls. It was an enormous library of ancient books and scrolls from across the ages, reportedly even featuring rare manuscripts from ancient Greece, Egypt, and China. The collection eventually fell to Ivan's grandson, Ivan the Terrible, who was fearful of the priceless hoard being stolen or destroyed. So the story goes, he decided to hide the library under the Kremlin. He hired one of Italy's finest architects to construct a vast, labyrinth subterranean library off limits to the public. In the centuries since Ivan the Terrible's death in 1584, many have attempted to find the lost library. Even Napoleon Bonaparte searched for it during his catastrophic invasion of Moscow in 1812, but like countless others who continue the search even today, he was unsuccessful. Enough reliable documentation from the 15th and 16th centuries exists to strongly suggest the collection of books did indeed exist. But as for its current location, well, while some believe the Russian government knows more than they're letting on, as far as the public record goes, it's a mystery. Number four, Coca-Cola's secret recipe. The world's biggest beverage manufacturer has always been secretive about its recipe. It's known that two of the key original ingredients, besides an unspecified collection of spices, were cola nuts and coca leaves. That's right, when it was first invented in 1886, John Stith Pemberton's health tonic used to contain, uh, Colombian dancing powder. However, once the supposed health benefits of the tonic were proven to be false, Pemberton's company updated the recipe, removing the narcotic. But since the beginning of the 20th century, Coca-Cola's precise formula of natural flavorings has remained a trade secret. Some even claim that no individual employee is ever told the entire recipe. While this is probably an exaggeration, likely fueled by Coke's own marketing departments, the level of importance placed upon this recipe is no joke. For 86 years, Coca-Cola stored the recipe in the heavy-duty vault of the SunTrust Bank in Atlanta. This was until 2011 when the Coca-Cola Corporation decided to up their security. The famous recipe now resides in a cartoonishly large steel-doored safe in the basement of the Atlanta Coca-Cola Museum. It seems unlikely that Coke will open its vault doors to reveal its secrets anytime soon, but you can rest easy knowing that when the nuclear apocalypse comes for us all, at least the recipe for America's favorite tooth rotter will be safe. Number three, Rushmore's best kept secret. Mount Rushmore is one of the most visited landmarks in America, and yet the monument harbors a secret off limits to the public with an intriguing history. The monument's original design was drawn up and overseen by a man named Gutzon Borglum. Borglum, as well as being a renowned sculptor, was a prominent Ku Klux Klan member and Freemason. 
As part of his design, he'd envisioned building an enormous hall of records behind Lincoln's face. He'd hoped this could serve as a time capsule to historians of the distant future. However, when the Second World War began, the monument lost funding, and in 1941, Borglum unexpectedly died. As a result, construction stopped and in place of the Hall of Records, an enormous titanium safe was installed, hidden safely behind a huge 1,200-pound granite slab. National Park officials claim that the sealed chamber is filled with ceramic panels detailing the history of the monument. However, Borglum's membership to numerous secret societies has left some people asking questions. Could there be another reason why the public is strictly prohibited from entering the vault? Could Borglum have intended the site to be used as a long-standing tribute to those dark societies to which he belonged, hidden in plain sight, mocking unknowing visitors? Or perhaps a ceremonial meeting place for his associates? Unless someone's brave enough to take a pickaxe up behind Lincoln's hairline, perhaps we'll never know. Number two, presidential passage. Each president has added their own touch to the White House, but some have historically gone further and deeper than others. Harry Truman, Franklin Roosevelt, and Ronald Reagan all oversaw projects connecting the White House to an underground network of tunnels. These passages would allow a quick escape in the event of an attack on the president and easy access to a nearby bomb shelter. As for the entrances to these tunnels, according to the White House's official website, one is concealed behind a mechanical wall panel in the Oval Office. But some theorize that another escape hatch is found under the Resolute desk itself in the form of a trapdoor and secret stairway. With one escape route officially confirmed, a second is certainly conceivable. After all, it wouldn't be a bad idea to misdirect any potential attackers from the real exit, would it? But whichever escape route really exists, we can only speculate what it looks like inside or where it really goes. Number one, the Church of Scientology Vault. Viewed from above, you might assume aliens are responsible for this bizarre site, and that's actually not far from the truth. Located in the middle of the New Mexico desert, the Church of Scientology's Trementina base is shrouded in mystery. Two enormous rings are carved into the landscape, specifically designed to help Scientologists from elsewhere in the universe find sanctuary and access to secrets within. Yep, it sounds crazy, but that's the official purpose, according to former Scientologists. Unlike the aliens, however, the rest of us can just wander in. Fences surround the rings as well as the accompanying mountain base and airstrip, and a security force protects the secrets within the base. According to the church's official spokespersons, the base features a vault nestled in an underground compound. The vault holds records of Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard's writings, films, and recordings which are encased in titanium capsules. While this is certainly intriguing on its own, such an extensive facility doubtless harbors all manner of other mind-bending artifacts, practices, and ceremonies. But given Scientology's famous secrecy, unless you're willing to pay your way into the cult's, uh, sorry, I meant religion's upper echelons, getting access is near impossible. Which locked up mystery do you wish was open to the public? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.